Hey there, Aubrey. I've got your uh, projects out on my table right now. I thought I'd start with these two guys here and um, yeah, give you some frame designs. I did follow your lead with the uh, with the silver idea. That was a, a good instinct. Um, yeah, I'm going to do chunks of videos and not do them all in one go, so <laughs> bear with me here. Um, starting with these guys. Yeah, the um, the prints themselves have a little bit of a dimple you can see in the light there, but otherwise the the face of them are just beautiful and co colorful. Um, the artist uh, was kind enough to sign it on each of them on the reverse uh, with the direction pointing for the orientation, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, vertical pieces uh, oriented as they are currently laying. Um, starting with the mat board, I have the uh, this poster sitting on um, a bright white foam core so this is just um good uh comparison for if you want to see a shift in color i'm going to take a bright white matte board here and set a creamy one next to it so you're like oh okay here we go <laughs> you gotta have the, the white to compare um i followed your lead as far as the silver frames that was a good instinct contemporary clean um frames to pair with with bright colorful artwork just let the art color speak for itself and um, keep the the frame design kind of simple um, given the size of these pieces uh, I would suggest kind of a modest mat board margin I assume you want a little bit of a mat board um, framing these edge to edge would be a little dull um, I'm adding a four ply mat board here this is a bright white I think bright white is the way to go um, anything else would kind of be competing with the colors and you want to allow them to interact with one another so um, yeah bright white mat board here this sample is four inches wide so um, when I speak of a two inch mat board margin that's what I'm talking about and <laughs> this is one of the frames I've um, I've noted for you so yeah two inches from here to here all the way around nice and even protects the uh, the surface of the artwork from the glass resting on it so it also looks good um this first frame is a actually both of them both of the silver frames are contemporary clean kind of um yeah sleek and cool and uh will not uh, interfere with the artwork doing what it does so um yeah this is a soft silver you can see it's a little bit frosted and the light kind of catches it but not in a harsh way um the face is three quarters of an inch yeah three quarters of an inch square face and side the side finish matches the front all the way the same around um that uh comes to 175 each per uh for each frame um the other one is more of a sleek silver so um yeah i wouldn't go so far as to call it chrome but it's it's got more of the light catching it and a little bit more of this like very subtle striation that like is like a brushed brushed chrome <laughs> so yeah the two of them next to one another yeah, I like playing with the light to be like, here we go. They're both silver and they're both clean and they've got different properties. Wow. Um, so yeah, the uh, the sleek shiny silver is a little taller and uh, comes to 210 as opposed to the other softer one for 175. Um, I also have, this is a little complicated to explain, but um, if you want to go with actual metal, actual silver um, metal frames, these are wood, as you can see in their core there. Um, but uh, metal sectional frames, you've probably seen these in all sorts of different um, shapes and sizes. Um, this one's actually an atypical kind of size. I'm pointing at the uh, the profile right there to see how the face and the back come, come together. I do not have a lot of metal sectional samples. I just don't keep a lot of them. I tend to order off of this catalog here. So um, yeah, what I'm getting at is there are some um, profile of very simple, flat, sleek, actually metal frames um, that I can choose from here that come in silvers as well. So um, again, I don't have those samples, but um, a like half inch face silver frame in metal also comes in a soft finish and a more sleek finish. So I just thought I'd mention that if you want to see some chips, some samples of those, I can get those ordered and show them to you. Um, those metal sectionals would also come to 210, like the sleek silver. And um, yeah, those are the three prices there. So let me know if you have any questions about the metal sectionals. Um, 
the two different finishes yeah so um with each of these videos i'll go over the the frames first the matte board margins and such and then kind of review the fact that uh yeah white matte board this come these quotes come with uh regular glass and um if you would like to upgrade to uv70 this is my um kind of my favorite glass it is uv protected up to 70 percent um and it is non-glare it is not as expensive as museum glass and um it does offer some um you know 70 percent uv protection there it costs more than regular glass but it does not cost as, cost as much as museum glass so um i love the stuff i'm spoiled on non-glare it's just invisible i love it so um with all of these prices, again, that's what they come with. And if you would like the upgrade to that UV70, I will offer it for each piece with the upgrade price. So just add 65. So, um, yeah, I hope this was useful and not too lengthy. I uh, uh, will be moving on to your next pieces.